Hey guys, today we're working on a PS1. You know, the skinny, slim guy. And that's our problem, right there. It doesn't stay shut. This button has betrayed us. All we get from it now are unfulfilled promises. That button was there for us one time. Let's be there for it now. Up here there will normally be a sticker that has already been removed on this unit. Now we can take the shell off. We don't need this because the button's right here. So let's focus there for a moment. First thing we're going to do is pull the button out. There's a clip right here and there's one right there but under this metal piece as well. Now I'll use the back end of my tweezers to push these through a little more. Let's flip it over for a second. Oh hey, it's closed now. Okay. That's weird. Notice how that plastic piece is not springing at all. It looks like the back of this should be contacting the back of this piece and making a springing force. So obviously it's dirty in here, but that's not our problem this time. Really, the spring is just broken or worn out or something. First thing we should do is get this out and just clean up the surrounding area. Alcohol on a Q-tip, you know the dance. And for our purposes, I think that looks good enough. I refitted the button quickly. You can see it's kind of functioning. However, the latch pin doesn't come out far enough. Still doesn't latch closed. With this piece, now my normal approach might be to do something silly like super glue a small attachment on the back here so that it fills in that thickness on the catch and thus compresses the spring and properly latches the console. What I want to try to do instead is something a little more reckless. And that is going to be to permanently deform the spring out this direction. We'll see how that goes. I have an idea. First thing is I'm going to take my tweezers and stuff it through here. And as I do that, it lifts up the spring. You see that? I'm going to go a little bit further even. Make sure things look roughly symmetric. Now i got a handy blowtorch. This is a creme brulee torch. It's like for at-home chefs or whatever. I'm going to heat up just these side pieces. Let's do it. I might break everything. I'm just going to hit it ever so gently and then take it away. Now the other side. Take it away. Cool that off a bit with some air duster. Just to speed up the process. Now let's see if that did anything. So it actually did, mostly on this side. I'm going to put it back in and do the other side again. That may have done the trick. Let's pop it in and see. Now when I fit the piece, you can see I have to compress this quite a bit more to get it in. And that's a good thing. Let's give it a test. Nice. Reattach the button. And seeing how it operates now, quite a bit of difference than before. After what this button's done for us all those years ago, I'm glad we could give back and say thanks. That's it for today. Now, obviously this thing needs a good clean inside the disc tray on the exterior as well. I'll get to that, don't you worry. You don't need to watch me do it though, do you? I hope this proves useful to someone out there with the same condition on their PS1. You never know, I guess. Thanks for watching.